Hi and welcome, my name is Ton and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video we're going to look at a series of keyboard shortcuts which will allow you to go ahead and use filters, tables, and charts more effectively within Microsoft Excel. We'll look at things like Control shift l for toggling auto filter on and off. We'll look at how to activate filters within Microsoft Excel as well as items such as inserting tables, selecting tables, or embedding charts either in your existing worksheet or in a new worksheet entirely. So with that, let's get started. Now, let's say that we have a list of maybe employees. And then we had things like department. And maybe we have an employee, John, Jenny, uh, Jen, Tian, uh, Tao, Tao, and Francois. And John works in the finance department. Jenny works in marketing. He also works in marketing, finance, and maybe he's engineering, right? So we have these, I have this very simple list. If we wanted to create a filter for that, we could go ahead and use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift L. Control Shift L will automatically create the filter button here. It doesn't work as well as I'd like. So we have these individual icons. I'm gonna be left aligned. We have these two little departments, right? And we created these filters, so we can either filter by the person or we could say filter by the name. Maybe we just want to look at the finance department. That would automatically filter that. So we're going to hit Control Z on you. Now you'll notice that this data is also linked, which perhaps isn't the best. Probably should have done this in its own worksheet, but whatever. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and activate a filter, you can select the filter that you want to activate and press Alt down arrow. It would automatically activate this. So I come here, press Alt down arrow, that would activate it. Now, once you've activated it, you can do things like sort it A to Z or Alt down arrow, sorted Z to A. Um, there's lots of different things you can do. If you want to go ahead and insert a table, so say you wanted to make this um, this income statement a table, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but you could. You could do this by pressing the keyboard shortcut Control T. Pressing Control key and the T, T as in table, will automatically select a range that it suggests might be good for a table. You can tell it whether or not you want headers, have headers. You might have to change it so that everything is black text. And then your uh, table here would be in terms of uh, table format, which is kind of cool. So we have that. Now, once you're in a table, if you wanna select a row, like we've talked about, you would press shift spacebar. A column would be achieved by control spacebar. You can select an entire table's data with Control A, including labels, Control A a second time, and then the entire worksheet, Control A a third time. Now, if you wanted to say, create a chart, would maybe go over here to this tab or this worksheet called Annual Sales. We can create a chart by selecting the data we want to graph or put in our chart. And then we press Alt F1, pressing Alt, not Control F1, clearly. I did that wrong. Alt F1 will create a chart inside the existing worksheet that you're working with. So there's a little chart. You can say this is something like maybe it's annual sales by region. If we wanted to generate a chart from the data that we've selected, but want to do it in its own its own spreadsheet, its own kind of tab, we would do this by pressing F11. F11 will instantly create a chart, and then we could again change things like the title so that it has a more descriptive and useful title. Such as that. All right, so again, this 
lesson was relatively simple, straightforward, but we wanted to look at a series of keyboard shortcuts, such as activating and deactivating filters with Control Shift L. We can then use Alt Down Arrow to use that filter. We looked at the idea of inserting a table, which we did with Control T. Hitting OK. We might have to change the the actual text so that it's all the right color. We can select an individual table row by pressing shift spacebar or a column by control spacebar. We can select the entire range in that table by control A. Lastly, we looked at going to the final tab where we had some sales and we'll delete this chart. We selected our data. Once we had our data selected, we can press alt F1 to create a chart within that existing worksheet, or if we want to create a chart in a new worksheet, we can do that also by selecting the data. Let's say this time we just want the three years of 2012 to 2014, and then we press F11. So there you have it. All right, in the last and final video in this series, we'll look at a series of keyboard shortcuts that will allow you to more, efficient, more efficiently use objects, macros, and pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. We'll look at things like Control D to duplicate an object, things like Control 6 in order to hide or show objects within a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, as well as things like Alt F8 and Alt F11 to launch the macro dialog box and VBA editor. So join us for that in the next video and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.